Hi, this is Scott Deluzio with ExcelZoom.com, and in this video I'm going to show you what our Audit Tickmark Toolbar can do for you. As you can see, we have a sample bank reconciliation form here. Well, the bank rec is filled out correctly, it isn't obvious to an auditor where all the figures came from. So let's add some tick marks to help someone reviewing this to make sense of it all. First, we'll, we'll click on the Add Ins uh, tab to see the toolbar. Now, the first amount that we come to is the ending balance from our bank statement. So let's add a B tick mark here, which will indicate that this came from our bank statement. This $12,000 amount is a sum of all the deposits that are in transit. So let's add a few tick marks to make that a little bit more clear. There. Now, now we can pretty easily see how all of these amounts add up to this $12,000 amount over here. The same thing goes for the outstanding checks down below. So we'll add a few more tick marks. And we'll add the sum of the twos. Okay, and so to check this balance that we came up with, uh, we'll have to check against the general ledger. So we have our balance from the general ledger over here. So let's put a tick mark to verify where it came from. Our GL indicates that it came from the general ledger. Next we want to show that we've checked all of our work or the work of someone else if we are reviewing it. Uh, for this we have three check marks. Uh, one for uh, a preparer, the next is for a reviewer, and the third one is for a final reviewer. So if we have three uh, review processes, uh, you know, from the initial preparer all the way up to some sort of supervisor uh, or manager who is, is uh, reviewing this, we can have three people kind of check off that they've, they've taken a look at, at everything here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take a look and so as a preparer I'll put my check mark in to indicate that I, I check that this total here uh, is correct. Then another reviewer could come along and put in their check mark and then a final reviewer can put in a third check mark and they'll all line up nicely next to each other in the same cell uh, so that way they're not uh, bunched up on top of each other. Uh, they'll, they'll just kind of fit right nicely next to each other. Uh, the same goes for all the other balances that we have here, um, where we, we may need to indicate a, uh, a review process has taken place, uh, all the way down to uh, checking the, the final balances here. So now, what if we want to reference another work paper? So our general ledger balance here, maybe that came from another work paper that we have. So we can use this uh, work paper this WP work paper uh, reference uh, to insert a work paper reference number uh, either uh, going to the work paper reference or coming from uh, the, wor the work paper. So let's put in a, a work paper here and insert that there. And let's say we wanted to put another uh, work paper reference over here. Uh, maybe this one is coming from someplace else. Um, we'll just put that in here and we'll just to show the difference. So all the froms will be kind of enclosed in these angled brackets uh, and then the uh, twos will just kind of be the, the work paper reference number. Um, if we need to add a comment to a cell, um, you know, say we wanted to indicate what a certain dollar amount is for in one of these outstanding checks, we can use our comment button, uh, insert comment button here, and it'll quickly add a comment to the cell and we can type in uh, whatever uh, the, the check is for or whatever the, the cell uh, represents 
uh, and put a little bit more information in there. Um, and then these comments work just the same as any other Excel comment, so we can edit the comment later on, we can hide it, um, and we can even delete the comment if we wanted to, if we didn't need it there. Um, and finally, when we're done with our, our bank reconciliation and the next month comes along, we may want to roll it forward. Um, so we can make a, a copy, just like any other worksheet uh, in Excel, create a copy of it. Um, but unfortunately, it now is kind of cluttered up with all, all of the tick marks that we had from uh, the last month's uh, bank reconciliation, which doesn't really help us uh, because we don't want to have all of those, those tick marks in there. Um, but we have a, a quick way to clear out all those tick marks. Uh, we can click this little eraser icon. It'll just prompt us to ask if we really wanted to delete them all uh, because this operation can't be undone. So we just want to double check uh, that, that you actually want to delete the tick marks. So we'll click yes. And then boom, all the, uh, all the tick marks are gone and, and we have a, a nice worksheet that we can start over uh, for the next month. Um, and that's pretty much uh, what our toolbar will do for you. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach us on our contact page on our website at ExcelZoom.com. Thanks.